Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we've got another palette bingo and that is why I've got nothing much on my face. The only things I have on my face right now are my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light in the shade Porcelain and I've got my Catrice Brow Set. Um, I don't know if they do many colours in this but it's a light and a dark and I just kind of mix them because my roots are severely growing through. Um, I just have a little headscarf that I got in Bershka on my head to keep my hair back on also because my hair is a bit greasy and I just didn't want to do anything to it. Um, and that's it as far as I can see. I have nothing else on and I haven't got my primer on or anything like that, but we're going to do a palette bingo. And today's palette bingo is going to be the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Now I already have a three looks one palette done. I kind of usually do a three looks one palette and then a palette bingo, you know, consecutively. They might mix and match here and there with other palettes and stuff like that. But usually when there's a, pa when there's a three looks one palette, there will most likely be a palette bingo. So let's get into it. We have got some gorgeous shades. I've already done my three looks as I've said so you can check out some other looks of this but it's a nice warm neutral and kind of colourful palette. It's a gorgeous palette. I've said before I love this palette. I have brought this on holidays with me. Just this palette on its own and it did me so well. Um, it's a gorgeous palette. It's a gorgeous travel palette so I'm hoping to get something fun. Um, nice bit of shimmer. I would love just to pray to the palette bingo gods to get Twilight because I didn't use that in my Three Looks One palette or maybe Turkish Delight, the red kind of shimmer. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, but who knows? We might get all shimmers, we might get all mattes, we might get nothing. So, well, we will get something, but it might end up like nothing. So let's do this. Okay, so I have my random number generator set to one to 18 because there are 18 shades in the palette. We're going to be starting from here, which is Desert Sand. Don't mind the swatch on my hand, I was just messing with colors. Don't ignore that. Um, we're going to start up here with Desert Sands as number one and Blazing, which will be number 18. And we're going to go across like that. There is a press glitter, which I did use in my 3 looks one palette. Um, it will also be included. So nothing is getting excluded. So who knows what we're going to get. Oh, my phone is upside down. So let's see what happens. So let's start. So we have got number five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Blood Moon. Okay, okay, okay. That's the shimmery copper. Fabulous. It's gorgeous. Number eight, which is Nefertiti, which I didn't use in my Three Looks and Palettes. More of a gold. Fabulous. More of like a true gold. Number 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no. <sighs> okay, it's my least favourite shade in this whole palette. It's Amethyst which is the matte purple, which you're probably not even going to be able to see because it's a horrific colour. And um, the rest of the palette is beautiful, but that colour, my God. Right, that's fine. <laughs> Move on. Number four, one, two, three, four, we've got amber. I could be so sneaky with that purple if I if this works out quite well. I'm picking five shades, by the way, I didn't mention that. So that's four so far. And then our fifth shade will be number 16, Okay, so our last colour was the Turkish Light. So that's our little colour palette here. Ignore that purple because it swatches horrifically and it kind of is not a great colour. Um, But that's our little colour palette that we have to work with. I'm going to have to think about this for a second. I, ha I think I have an idea in my head, which actually means that I can't be sneaky about the purple. I have to use it in a very obvious way. Um, Yeah, because I really, really want to show off the Turkish Light because I didn't get to in my 3 looks one palette because I, I was supposed to put it in one of the looks. forgot about it, but whatever. Um, Yeah. I have an idea, I think. Let me prime my eyes. Okay, so I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see a little better as to what I'm doing. And I popped on my MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base just because it's a bit more of a tackier kind of primer. So I want that for the purple because I'm going to freaking need it, trust me. Um, So we're actually going to start with the purple. Um, I really didn't want this purple, but we have it. And what can we do about that? I'm going to kind of do like a standardish kind of eye, I think. Um, And I'm going to do like the red on the lid, the shimmery red on the lid gold kind of on the inner kind of hooking around the inner corner and then we'll do the copper and the amber the burnt orange on the bottom and we'll just see how it goes and I might switch and change it up as we need to but let's try and get this purple to work on my face so I'm just taking that on a soft on brush from Makeup Geek and we're just going to pop that on the outer corner I just feel like this purple is just so tightly pressed you can never get anything out of it and it goes hard pan like after one use so you have to really like scrape it onto the brush almost and I'm using this in the crease because I feel like this will blend easier into the red than the burnt well I mean the burnt orange will also blend quite easy into the red 
but I just feel like it'll it'll just give it more of that kind of pinky purpley red kind of look and then have the kind of warmer tones underneath so I'm trying to build it up as much as I can you can see I'm getting like a patchy area like right there right where my crease is I shouldn't but I am but what can I do about that and I'll just I'll build it up as I need to as I do the look I'll add more and I'm just taking a 6SS brush from Ingla and just using that to soften out the edges. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking for now. Anyway, I might build up a bit more purple. I might blend it out a little bit more. I might wing it out a little bit more. I'll see. I'll, I'll kind of just play with it as I go. But I'm going to move on for now. I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush, my little flat shader brush. And we're going to go in to Turkish Delight, which is the red shade. And I mean, I didn't even know if it's going to work okay together, like in this way that these colours are. But what we got so let's just play with it and this is just going on the lid and this is probably my favorite color in this whole palette it's so funny that i got my favorite color and my least favorite color i'm just bringing it almost all of the way in so just leaving a small little just a little gap tiny little little smidge in there and then i'm just flipping my brush over and then just where it meets the purple just kind of pat it just going back in with a little bit more of that purple and you can use that to also blend. I definitely wouldn't like either set your base, which I never do anyway, or use a transition shade first with this purple because it has to stick to something to come out. Otherwise, it's not going to come out. Again, another reason why I don't like it, but it will not come out unless it sticks to something straight away. Okay, so that's kind of the upper lid done for a second. I'm going to just pop on a bit of concealer off camera and then we can do the lower lash line, inner corner and all that kind of jazz. Okay, I actually kind of like it. I know I don't, I'm not a big fan of that purple. I don't like how it performs, but I mean, it's on the island. It looks okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I'm, I, I love that colour on the lid so much. So I've got my under eye concealer done. So let's work on the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, we're going to go in with Amber, which is the burnt orange. And then we'll do the copper, which is Blood Moon. So for Amber, where's my little brush gone? I'm just taking a 214 from MAC and we're just going to take some of that and that is just going to get run right along the lower lash line. And you can kind of blend it out as much as you want. I might smoke it out quite a bit. I'll see how I feel as I blend. And then taking my 6SS brush, which you might think is quite large, it is. I'm just taking a tiny bit of that burnt orange on the very tip of it. And we're just going to use that with the tip on the orange and just use that to blend out the edge. It'll just soften it slightly. It's funny, I know it's like quite a warm palette and it actually works quite well for like the autumn time of the year, which is what we're in. Um, But this, these are quite like autumnal colours and I kind of like it. Hmm. Okay, and once you're happy with how that is blended out, I'm going to go in with Blood Moon, which is the more coppery shimmer. The shimmers in this are stunning, by the way. You'll see like full swatches and a review of the palette in my 3 Looks One palette. But it's stunning. And I'm just popping that on the inner part of the lower lash line. And then just kind of drag it over to that amber shade. And it should blend out very nicely. Or blend into each other very nicely. Okay, and I might do like a... I might either do a purple waterline. Or a red waterline. Or an orangey kind of coppery kind of waterline. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to decide. Um, but now what I'm going to do is take my lash shade, which is Nefertiti, this one, the kind of more like true, true gold in the palette. And it is a gorgeous gold shimmer. And we're going to pop that on that little gap we left on top, the inner corner and blending it into the lower lash line as well. I'm taking my little sleek, stiff, like synthetic brush. And we're just going to pick up some of that shade. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner. But it's also gone onto the lid just a tad, just to give something, something a bit interesting. Okay, so that is everything I think I want to do. I may blend here and there a little more. I blend the purple out a little bit more, but I'm kind of happy with how it looks. I'm actually very surprised that it turned out as nice as it did, considering how I was kind of sad I got the purple. So yeah, um, I'm going to go finish my face off, do my eyes, put a bit of lash on, um, possibly do a liner. I think I will do a liner with this. I might even just do a smoky liner. Actually, I haven't done a smoky liner in a very long time and we will do cheeks and lip and something and yeah so i'll be back in a sec 
Alrighty guys, so this is our finished look using our Desert Dusk palette. Um, I didn't really do anything else. I put a bit of the, what's it called? Desert Sand, the lightest kind of creamy shade on my brow bone highlight, just to highlight and also help blend out the um, purple a little bit more. Um, that's kind of it. Um, for my eyes then, I did do a smoky liner like I said I was gonna do. So I use my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Zero. It's just a black and I just smudge that into my lashes and tight lined as well. Just to give us a bit more of a smoky, smudgy lash line and that's it. Um, and then on my waterline, I was going to do purple, I was going to do red and I was going to do like a, a burnt orangey, coppery kind of colour. So I kind of went for like a coppery brown. I thought that would be quite nice because it'll still add to that smoky effect. And this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Roach, which is just like a nice, deep kind of shimmery brown and it's lovely. Um, my mascara is again my MDM Flow Greater Than Mascara. I'm still using this. It's the last of me forever. Um, I'm probably going to throw it out soon because it's getting to the point where it's like past. I can actually use it even if it is still like, if it's not dried up, I'm, I'm kind of getting near to that end. So whatever. And then my lashes are the IMV Lashes, exclusively designed for primer the O Natural 02 and they the box looks like this if you want to know and they're kind of shorter on the inside but they don't fully go all the way in so they do just like kind of taper into my natural lash which is quite nice they're a little bit longer on the outside and they're just nice soft so that we can still see the actual eyes and I think my eyes look really blue at this one because of the it's a combination of like a purple that has a good bit of pink in it um the red the gold and the copper all makes my blue eyes stand out which is really nice and then onto my cheeks, I used my Benefit Dallas bronzer, which looks like this. I'm getting very low on it. I very much hit pan on it. And I do have a backup, so that's okay. And I just use that on my cheeks just to kind of, almost like a bronzer contour put together. So I just kind of use both together. Then for my blusher, I use my Sleek Blush by 3 in the shade scheme of Lace, which is a nice kind of corally, kind of orangey sort of tone. It's beautiful, especially in the summer. It's lovely. But I use the darkest colour actually, the matte um, coral shade, which is crochet, I think, croquet or crochet, I'm not sure. But it's lovely, it's matte and it's a gorgeous, really nice like burst of colour on the cheeks. I may add a small bit more before I take pictures, but it is a lovely colour. And that is that. And then for my highlight, and I also popped a tiniest little bit on the inner corner here just to brighten it a little bit more. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. Just like a very, 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 very pale, almost white champagne kind of colour. And then my lips, I had a hard time with the lip actually. The lip I did struggle with. But I did decide on this kind of rosy, almost berry, but more of a rosy kind of colour. So we use the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Sore, which is like your classic rosy pink. Um, That's still neutral enough. Then for my lipstick, I use the... NYX Butter Lipstick, which is a gorgeous creamy formula. It's really nice and hydrating. This is the shade Root Beer Float. So it's just like a, like that kind of color. It's lovely kind of soft, berry, dusty, pinky kind of color. And then just to add a bit more of gloss to the lips, make lips look a little bit fuller. I use the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Tinsel Seeker, but you could probably use something like um their Cream Sheen Gloss in Delight. I don't have that, but it's very similar to that. So yeah, that's everything on my face. Alrighty guys, so this is everything. That's how the look turned out. And I love how this turned out, even though I got my least favorite shade in the palette, which obviously I was gonna get that in the palette bingo, but I actually loved how this turned out. It's really, really nice. And I think it's very fitting for this time of year. It's very autumnal and it's very like, all the colors of autumn I find. Um, well, a lot of colors of autumn anyway. Um, so yeah, that's our palette bingo done for our Huda Beauty I was about to say three looks on palette, but now I've already done that. This is their palette finger. Um, what I actually love about this palette, if you actually look at it this way, if you cover these nine, that's your daytime palette. And these nine, that's your nighttime palette. Minus the glitter, maybe swap it with like, I don't know, like, uh, what's that one called? Retrograde. That's more of like a daytime kind of colour. But yeah, it's actually cool. You can do like a daytime, nighttime. It's very fabulous. And I love this palette. I love how this look turned out. I love how my three looks one palette turned out. Um... I think it, and I did a really nice variety. I did a really nice neutral look, one that used the pressed glitter, so it's definitely more of like your smoky eye kind of look. And then I also used the one that was more of a, kind of like a brighter, but it had like other 
kind of fun bits to it as well. So yeah, I really like how those turned out. And I love how this turned out. And I'm very, very... No, I wouldn't say impressed. But I'm very surprised at how the purple turned out for the look anyway. So yeah, that is everything. If you liked this and want to see more of these, you can let me know down below. Leave me a big thumbs up if you want me to do more. I will do more if you give me thumbs up. I love doing these. These are so fun and they really challenge me and they make me use my brain. And you can also leave me down in the comments. What way would you have done this colour scheme? If you got these five colours, what way would you do them? I want to know. And also hit subscribe down below to see more palette bingos. More three looks on palettes. We're going into Halloween, I think. I can't remember when this is going up. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's going up in September. I can't remember. Um, but if we are going into Halloween, I will be focusing on Halloween. But then we'll be right back into our three looks on palettes or our palette bingos, or our how-to series, or the colour series that God, I'm doing a lot this year. <laughs> um, it's hard to keep up with them, but they will be back eventually. So yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!